Thomas Hobbes was an influential philosopher who lived during the 17th century in England. Born in 1588, Hobbes witnessed a tumultuous era marked by political instability, religious conflicts, and the English Civil War. These experiences deeply influenced his thinking about human nature and the need for a strong central authority to maintain order and prevent chaos. Hobbes believed that in the absence of government, human beings existed in a state of nature, a condition characterized by a constant struggle for survival and a war of all against all. According to Hobbes, life in the state of nature was solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. This bleak view of human nature shaped his thoughts on the ideal form of government. Hobbes argued that the monarchy system, with a single ruler wielding absolute power, was the most effective way to prevent the chaos of the state of nature. He believed that a strong and centralized government, headed by a monarch, would establish order, protect individuals' rights, and ensure stability in society. Hobbes justified his support for monarchy by emphasizing the need for a social contract, a mutual agreement between the ruler and the people. According to him, individuals would willingly surrender their rights and freedoms to the monarch in exchange for protection and the maintenance of order. In this way, the monarch would have the power to prevent conflicts and maintain social harmony. Hobbes's views on monarchy differed significantly from those of his contemporary, John Locke. While Hobbes advocated for absolute monarchy, Locke believed in a limited government that respected individual rights. Unlike Hobbes, Locke argued that the government's power should be derived from the consent of the governed and that individuals had the right to revolt against an unjust ruler. Another notable political thinker who held contrasting views with Hobbes was Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Rousseau believed in the concept of the social contract, similar to Hobbes, but he advocated for a more participatory form of government, such as a direct democracy. Unlike Hobbes, Rousseau emphasized the importance of individual freedom and the role of the general will in decision-making. Hobbes expressed his ideas on monarchy and the nature of government in his famous work, Leviathan. In this book, he used the metaphor of a sea monster, the Leviathan, to represent the all-powerful sovereign. According to Hobbes, the Leviathan's role was to maintain social order, prevent conflicts, and protect individuals' rights, thereby justifying the necessity of absolute monarchy. One of the key arguments Hobbes made in support of monarchy was its ability to provide stability. He believed that a strong central authority would prevent factionalism and internal conflicts, leading to a more secure and prosperous society. Hobbes saw the monarch as the embodiment of the state, with the power to enforce laws and maintain order in the face of human nature's inherent tendencies. Hobbes' support for monarchy did not mean he advocated for unlimited power. He recognized the importance of checks and balances to prevent abuse of authority. Although he believed the sovereign should have extensive powers, including making laws and settling disputes, Hobbes also emphasized the need for a system of laws and institutions to regulate the monarch's actions and protect individual rights. Hobbes' ideas on monarchy sparked intense debates and continue to be influential in political philosophy. Critics argue that his support for absolute monarchy undermines individual freedoms and can lead to authoritarianism. However, his emphasis on the importance of a strong central authority resonated with subsequent thinkers and helped shape the foundations of modern political thought. Hobbes's endorsement of monarchy influenced political developments in England and beyond. His ideas provided intellectual support for the restoration of the monarchy in England after the English Civil War. Furthermore, his thoughts on the social contract and the necessity of a strong government laid the groundwork for future political theorists and philosophers. In contemporary society, Hobbes' ideas on monarchy still raise crucial questions about the balance between individual freedom and the need for centralized authority. While absolute monarchy is less prevalent today, his arguments about the importance of maintaining order and preventing chaos remain relevant in discussions about the role of government and the limits of individual rights. 
In conclusion, Thomas Hobbes was a philosopher who supported the monarchy system as a means to prevent the chaos of the state of nature. His belief in a strong central authority, embodied by the monarch, aimed to ensure social order, protect individual rights, and promote stability in society. While his ideas diverged from other political thinkers like Locke and Rousseau, Hobbes' contributions to political philosophy have left a lasting impact and continue to stimulate discussions about the nature of government and the balance between individual freedom and collective security.